Hey fellow gamers, it's Cozy Mal and I'm here with another Paleo video for you. We are down in the basement underground of Zeki's store. So if you are not high enough level with Zeki to have gotten a key to get down here yet in your friendship level, then the only way you can come down here is through the sewer that's back by the lake. But you can come in through the sewer by the lake um, from the very beginning, you know, even when you're just a level one character or whatever without friendship with anyone. But the reason we're here is because we're going to talk about cooking. And today we're going to talk to Reth. Reth is a very popular guy because women just love him. <laughs> as they do all bad boys. So sometimes it's a little bit difficult to talk to Reth. Reth has a cooking guild store, and this is where you are going to get your recipes for a stove, a prep station, um, and those are free, a mixing station that's also free, some recipes for things, like I haven't purchased the fish tacos recipe yet, and I could go ahead and purchase that right now from him. Um, and your oven station, that's free, but you have to be high enough level, you know, so um, you probably have to be level two and then three and then four and then five to get each piece, you know, it goes up in level. Yeah. Was that once you get to level 10, which I'm not yet, you will start earning these pink medals right here. These are skill medals from level 10 on, you will earn these. And then you can purchase some special things that you can only buy with those and that starts down here and there's a plaque you can put on the wall there's the bowl of ramen wallpaper which i love it's in all my kitchens the cook trays which you can put cakes and pies and any kind of star level dishes you make can go on the cook trays they stand tall they're taller than a kitchen table and it stands on the floor you don't put it up on a on a countertop or a table so it's a really nice thing and then the cook's market stand Okay, we are upstairs in Zeki's Market, which is the grocery store market, um, the main store in town in Kilima Village. And you can see on the map, this is Kilima Village. And if I scroll out, this is your house right here. So if you're brand new, your house is here and you know you come down the hill. You came down here, you went to the inn and you went and talked to Ashura. And that's how you got your housing plot with, and, you know, met Hodari, built your tent, your house, whatever. So even if you're brand new, this is the first place you go. And right here is Zeki's store. And that's where we are. And if you can get to level two in friendship with him, which doesn't take very long, then you will do a quest and receive a key. And this is the key to the black market downstairs that we were just in. Now, that is not the same key that is used for his bedroom. So if you're in a quest line where they require you to go inside Zeki's bedroom in his house, that's level three. This, of course, is the Kilima Inn. You also have seen this on the map right here. This is the Kilima Inn. This is the first building you probably entered because this is where Ashura is and he helps people to get their plot and to get their first axe for cutting trees. Over here is where Reth is and this is where Reth stands um, when he is at work during the daytime. Now um, Reth is not always at this spot. He is your instructor, but he does move around. So if you want to write it down, you can, um, or you can look it up each time, or just look for his face on the map. And you, if he's above ground, you'll find his face on the map. If he's underground, you probably won't. So I can give you his routine. Midnight to 4 a.m., he's underground. He is in the black market where I just showed you at the very beginning of this video. He works down there. Then from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m., he usually stands in the middle of the road behind Jell's shop and behind Zeki's store. So above ground, but behind where those two stores are, he will stand there. 
and then normally by 9 a.m. at the latest. So sometime between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m., he will show up for work right here where we are right now, and he will be behind this counter. The reason he's not here at 8 a.m. like he is supposed to be is because people stop him outside and talk to him, and it makes him late for work. Um, sometime between 4 and 5, he will leave here. And he will go to Jell's shop. And I'll show you that again in case you don't know where that is. But it's just right next to Zeki's store. And Jell is the clothing designer. He makes clothing. And he is best friends with Tish. Tish is your furniture instructor. And teaches you to make furniture. Sells you those patterns. Tish is Reth's sister. So Reth and Tish are brother and sister. And Tish's best friend is Jell. So every day, the three of them hang out together um, from about 5 o'clock until about 8 p.m. In Jell's shop, in the clothing store, the three of them hang out up by the cash register and just chat. So you can go see all three of them at once if you need to talk to them daily. That's where they're at. Then from 8 p.m. to midnight, Reth is supposed to be asleep, and he does have a bedroom at Tish's house, his sister's house, but he doesn't sleep there. He's usually in the basement of the Ormu Inn in his little private room that he has down there. So I will take you and show you that as well. But here on the map, I will show you this is Jell's shop. It's got a clothing hanger above it. You cannot miss that symbol of the clothing hanger. That is his shop. And here is Reth right now. This is where I just told you he would stand on the road out back of Jell's shop. So this is Zeki's store. This is Jell's shop. And back here is where Reth stands part of the day. If you need to uh, talk to him, you can talk to him there anytime. And then if you go to this little special door over here, Behind where Ashura stands, there's a little special door. This goes to the basement. So Ashura has a basement in the Ormu Inn also. He just isn't running a black market in his basement like Zeki does. However, this is where Reth's storeroom is. Now, I happen to have the key to his storeroom because I'm level three friendship with him already. But right here by this table is where he stands. So when it is supposedly nighttime for him, 8 p.m. to midnight when he's supposed to get some sleep, this is where he's usually at. So he's supposed to be sleeping. This little shiny thing right here is going to lead you to a quest that has to do with Zeki. So I won't spoil it. This is a recipe. So if you want the recipe for tomato soup, you have to get to level three with rep so you can come down here and read the recipe out of his book. So this is Reth's storeroom, and this is where um, he also keeps some illegal things. <laughs> well, they're not illegal for us, and they're not illegal for Zeki, but if they have any flow power to them, then they're not supposed to be in the hands of the Majiri. And then this door back here goes to the underground. Okay, we are home on my plot, and the first place that you're going to learn to cook is here on a campfire. This is called the campfire. It's one of the first recipes that you ever get. You will make this at your crafting bench. You can make four, five, six of them, however many you want. And this is the first place that you will cook, and you will probably have to cook uh, 10 or 15 sets of mushrooms or whatnot. Um, and you can find some mushrooms on your property and you find the rest in Kilima and Bahari Bay. And if you cook the mushrooms um, over this fire, you will get um, some higher level things to do from wrath. So you'll learn to cook fish and then you'll learn to cook meat over the grill. And by this point in time, um, then you will be able to go uh, get a stove, a free stove recipe Make your stove and start cooking in your house. But at the beginning, you're going to cook on these. And um, there are some people, especially old videos. If you see old videos that are seven or eight months old from when the game first came out into open beta, you might find ways to make money that um, have to do with 
cooking on the fire like this. So they might say, well, if you catch a bunch of fish, you're better off to cook the fish before you sell them. And so I tested out some of the old methods and that are on those videos, and some of them don't work anymore. So things have been nerfed or changed or whatever. So some of the things don't work anymore, but we can still compare them. So let's say cooking, um, Fisherman's Brew. That's one of the first recipes you get from ENR down at the lakes. Um, to make it, you need an emerald carpet moss, and you find a lot of that down by the lake, and you need a crystal lake lotus, and you find those all along the edge of the lake. A carpet moss sells for 18, and a lotus sells for 20. So now this batch came out at star levels. You have invested $18 for carpet moss and $20 for a Crystal Lake Lotus for a total of $38. And then you make five servings, and if they come out regular, that's 35 gold. So therefore, you have actually lost money if you're only going to get $7. So, um, if it comes out star value, those sell for 10. So, 10 times 5 is 50. So, that's 50 gold for a profit of $12 per cooking session if they come out at star level. However, all the ones that don't, you know, come out at star level are going to lose money, apparently. Uh, you lose 3 gold if if you can sell them for 35 and the lotus and the carpet moss, you know, so this, if you see this on a video as a way to make money, don't do it because it's not working. So anyway, um, that, uh, that's the end of that. The other thing that they tell you is that, um, you can go fishing at a little pond on the mayor's estate and they will tell you that you will use no bait just a plain hook and that you will catch mottled goby every time and that mottled goby are normally a fish you have to catch with a glow worm and um glow worms are late in game before you get your hands on those now when the game first started seven months ago this did work but it was just a glitch in the game and they corrected it and they fixed it and they nerfed it into the ground. So don't go up to the mayor's house to the little tiny pool and go fishing thinking that you're going to get mottled goby on a plain hook with no worms. You're not going to. You're going to get the regular fish that you would normally get out of a pond like the pond on your own plot. So that's just another thing to know that's not working. So we have already debunked the fisherman's brew. It's not a good deal because if you don't come out with star level, you're losing money. I wouldn't take the chance. And going to the mayor's house to go fishing thinking you're going to get really high quality modeled goby, you're not going to. I went and checked it out. It doesn't work that way. It works like a regular pond. Um, another famous fishing hack was to take two fish, for example, two calico koi, and they're worth 23 gold each for a total of 46 gold. If you grill them, they're supposed to be 46 gold to sell them. We're going to have to test this out too. But if they come out at star level, then they would sell for 69 gold, according to the video. And that would be 23 gold profit. Now you have no control over the RNG. So it's just luck. So if you make 10 sets of fish, um, and remember they will miss, they will mix your fish together sometimes. So if you don't have two of the same fish, like this koi is worth 50 and I have two of them. But if I had one of these and one calico koi that's only worth 23, they could mix those two together. So then your investment is different. And I would not want to advise you as to how that investment will come out. Um, that would be something you would have to try for yourself and see what happens if they mix your fish together. So let's try it. If I try to make grilled fish, you have to have two 
fish. I'm hoping they will pick two of my fish that match, but I have no control over what it picks, but I'll go ahead and grill it. And we'll go ahead and see what it took. Okay, it did take two matching koi, and they are the calico koi that are worth 23 gold each. Oh, now it came out star level. Darn it, I'm not gonna get to check. <laughs> Just my luck. Okay, so they came out. That's just RNG. It's just luck. So they came out star level. And two fish. See, this has been debunked as well. So this is grilled fish that's going to sell for $69 if it's star level. And that will give you a $23 profit. So... If it was not star level, it would only be worth 46 and you're investing 46 when you use two calico koi. So, um, yeah, so really you have to get star level in order to profit. But hopefully you don't lose money when you don't get it. So we'll try this again. I have two fish that match that are worth 50 each. Oh, they didn't take those. Okay, so they took two orange bluegill that are worth 39. So they're worth 39, so they'd be 78 to sell two of them. So we'll pull up this and see what we got. So we did not get star level. We got regular, and they're selling for 78. If you sell two of them, orange bluegill, at 39 each, you get 78. So that's worth 78. That's worth 78. You're not losing any money, but you don't gain any money unless it comes back at star level. So I don't know, you know, and like I said, I have no control over what fish it chooses to use out of my bag, except if I just don't put them in my bag. So you can put your fish in your lockbox, like this lockbox right here. And then it cannot use those fish because they're in the lockbox. They're safe. Now you only really make a profit if it comes out star level. So, um, which is okay. If you want to take the time to cook all of your fish and 25% and of them come out star level or half of them come out star level, you're making some good profit. So, you know, it's, it's worth it if, if you want to do it. I'm just saying... Some, you know, the, the fact that you would always make money by grilling is not true. You're going to have the same amount of money if it is regular and you only actually make a profit if it is star level. Okay, so now here we are in the kitchen. And here's the other thing I want to tell you. When you get your free recipe to make a stove <clears throat> or whatnot, as you level up cooking two, cooking three, four, five, six, you will get these recipes. At the beginning, you will probably just make one because you do have to have iron bars, copper bars, whatnot, you know, um, ceramic bars, whatever, in order to make these things. And you might not have all those bars or not in great quantities, but pretty darn soon you have to have two of every one. So you can see I have two prep stations and two stoves and two ovens. Okay. So if your recipe comes up and you have everything up here and all of these are checkmarked and it won't let you make it, this make box is still grayed out down here. It won't let you make it and there will be a little mark in this area somewhere where, where it tells you about the, the ovens and stoves and stuff. And if you click on it, it'll tell you you don't have enough equipment to make that recipe. Well, that's going to be because you only have one stove or one prep station or one mixing station, and it's forcing you to have two. So as soon as I had enough iron bars or whatever I needed to do it, I made two of everything and stuck it in my kitchen as soon as I could afford to. It just makes your life easier so that you're not so confused. But what we're checking out today is fish stew. And please forgive me in advance. I cannot chop, so it's I'm not good at it, but it's only one chopping station. So right here at the prep station, you can see there's only one item that has to be chopped. And then down here, you can see that you need fish and spice and garlic. So you'll have one fish, one spice, one garlic. Right here is a spice sprout. It's worth 15 gold. Right here is a garlic, 
15 gold. And then I have several, well, I have two fish. So I have a koi, a cantankerous koi that's 50. And I have an orange bluegill that's 39. It will use one of those fish. So whichever one it chooses to use, we'll have to add up um, how much we invested. Unless I ruin it, in which case we ruined our investment. And if such is life. So we will try to make this. Okay, I have patted my stove and given it some love. Now we go to the prep station and wants us to chop the garlic. So chopping is almost always at the prep station and it's a mini game. And you have to click each time the blue thing gets to the bar. Whoa, I did it. This hardly ever happens, so I'm awfully excited. Then you come back over here and you're going to left click to add that to your pot. Then you're going to hold down your left button to stir. And you're going to stir until the actual uh, recipe is finished. Now, we did not get star value. We got regular value. But I have some of each because Byron came over and cooked with me the other night. And um, when there's two of you cooking together, you just have to have one ingredient. He brought the fish, so I provided the actual garlic and the spice. So he likes to fish a lot more than I do. He has tons of extra fish. He brought the fish over. So you each donate something that goes into the recipe, but you both get all three servings. He gets three fish stew. I get three fish stew. So it kind of doubles what comes out of the same number of ingredients, and it cuts your time in half usually because there's two of you doing it. So he, I would start the recipe, he would chop and bring it over and throw it in and I would stir. And we would get done really quickly um, with fish stew. But let's look at what we've got here. So it used one of the orange blue gill that's worth 39. Um, and that's nice because then it's much harder to add it up. <laughs> Spice is 15 and garlic is 15, that's 30. And it used a fish that was worth 39. So we have 69 invested. And if our fish stew came out regular, it sells for 25, but you get three. So you have to remember that. So that's 75 gold. So you invested 69 and you got 75 back. You're not going to lose money. So this might be worth doing if you like to cook. Now, if you accidentally get star level, then you're going to get a little bit more. You're going to get 84. So that would be $15 profit. So every time you got star level, you'd get $15 profit when you sell three of them instead of getting $6 profit for selling three of them. So either way, this one is not debunked. This one is actually going to give you a profit. So um, that was basically what I was just trying to figure out for you was whether it was, uh, you know, worth it to make some of these things that are in the original videos. And like we discovered, some of the things in the original videos from seven months ago are no longer true. You're, you're going to lose money on Fisherman's Brew. So I would not do that if I was you. Um, so, you know, if you're, if there's a chance you're even going to lose a little bit of money, I would just sell the raw ingredients. Um, okay. The other final little tip from this video <laughs> that if you are fishing and it's your, your early in game and your bag is filling up with fish, you can sell them to ENR down on his dock. So what I would do when I was first fishing was I just went and fished on his dock. <laughs> so I just stood next to him fished out of the lake and I would fish until my bag was full of fish. And then I'd just turn to ENR and I would sell all the fish to him. However, I, I can look right now and, and I know I'm not there. Yeah. See, I'm level nine in cooking. I haven't made it to level 10 yet. I'm not in the guild yet. I can't earn the medals and buy things. And I am level 33 in gardening. <laughs> so you can see I can't cook. But it's not really my fault. I just normally can't do the, the chopping. And so the really big cooking items, I have to have help. I have to have people over.
So here's a little secret extra for any of you that held on this long. Look at that! It's our first Ember Born rug. Ember Born rug. Ember Born rug. I'm excited. Can you tell? I'm really excited. I mean, if you are going to make the entire Ember Born collection and can't get the rugs, it's uh, it's sad. It's disappointing. So this to me is awesome. Okay. That's it for the tips and tricks for cooking for money or not cooking for money. Just so you don't get fooled by old videos. It's not their fault. The content creators were correct when they made those videos, but they're just not correct now. Everything's changed over the last seven months and some things don't work anymore. But always remember you have a pond on your property over there is a pond that you can go fishing in right away the first day that you get your fishing pole and you don't have to have worms and you can just go over there and fish. And when you do, you will um, be able to just catch basic fish with no worms or no glow worms and cook them. So you can remember that you can make some profit from even just making them over the um, fire. And for those of us that are far enough in the game, this is your barbecue grill that you get from doing Quest for Hodari, and it works the same as the fire. So if you want to use your barbecue grill, same thing, grilled fish, grilled meat, grilled mushrooms, grilled oysters, that's all the same thing. And that is one little tiny tip I can tell you for the very, very end of this video, in case you didn't know, oysters open up. So this is just for you guys that are brand, brand, brand new. If you've been picking up oysters down at the ocean, they do open up. So you just right click on them and you can open it and you'll get oyster meat that you can grill either over a fire or on your barbecue. Or look there, I got a pearl. Every once in a while, you'll get a white pearl. It sells for 105 gold. Save one pearl for a quest. There's a quest that you will get that involves Eshi and Kenyatta, and you will need a pearl. So you might want to save a white one. The other one is a green pearl, and they're a lot rarer, you know. So most of the time, you're going to open up your oysters, and you're, oh, my gosh, I got a green one. Wow. Okay. So most of the time you're going to get meat, oyster meat that you can grill and grilled oysters um, are also called smoked oysters by Eshi and Kenley is something they love. Eshi will quite often ask for her loved gift to be grilled oysters. So it's great to have that meat to cook. So you got to open the shells and get the stuff out, guys. If you get a green pearl, it's worth 290. That's almost 300 gold for one pearl. You throw that in the sales bin and get some money because, you know, I know how important that money is at the beginning. But there you go. That's the last tip. And I hope you like and subscribe. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who got me to a 1,000 subscribers. I am a YouTube partner now. It takes a couple of months to get that up and rolling and see if you're, uh, see if you're doing uh, well at it or not. So I won't know for a while. But we are official. So thank you so much. And please like and subscribe and uh, you know ring that bell so you know when my videos are coming out. And I will see you in the next one.